it just looks like she's gliding off the stage. It has a and stressful that, move. That also <laughs> happened in um, the laundromat scene where she... That's right. Oh. Yeah, and I had to glide oh, down the right. steps and I was like, I my mean, like, quads are shaking. <laughs> You play a trumpet player in this. Uh, I believe I read that you you played back in the day trumpet. Um, it certainly looks like you're playing in the film. Did this did this role take more prep than than something you would normally do? Uh, musically, yes. I like how it sounded like you know you played trumpet back in the day because then it sounds real. Um, <laughs> I played trumpet briefly, and I'm talking like a month tops in <laughs> middle school. Like just enough to know that once you're learning like all of the different musical notes and stuff and all the patterns and switches, I was like, oh, no, that's enough for me. And I went into sports. But for this, yeah, that added a different element, which was exciting for me because it wasn't one that I was used to in preparing for a role. So I had a couple of months of extra time uh, to learn how basically just to hold the instrument and control my breathing, which all of that was real that you see on screen of me actually blowing into the horn and all that and learning the notes. And I had to learn them uh, with my trumpet coach and Justin developing like a number system. You know, there's three valves. So one, two, three on all the note, all of the notes and then just memorizing by, by sight and just mimicking it over and over and over again for like months. So that I was, like Mozart. hey, what? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> That's how yeah, you learn. That, that was that was a lot to to endure, but they were incredibly patient with me, and it was cool to get to like hear the music like really early on. Like mm -hmm. you got to hear it early too, because for the the dance numbers and stuff. I had my music before the lyrics came in, so I didn't have lyrics <gasps> until maybe close closer to when we started. I was like, I remember please you doing give the me the humming. give me the lyrics. I got to prepare for this. But it was really it was really fun because I love how. The song is amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you got your start in theater as well, I believe, yeah. according to the internet. Yes. Um, so, you know, when we meet Lady Faye, she's walking on stage and, and you do this amazing song. But how how easy was it for you to relate to that character, given that you've also kind of, like her, been a chameleon and done all these different things? It was really exciting for me, for one, because I was a dancer first. Oh, wow. um, I was a dance major and then I took kind of singing lessons on the side and then I got into acting only because I went to performing arts high school mm -hmm. where we were all given the opportunity to be involved in annual musicals mm -hmm. and that was kind of my gateway into acting and I loved it so much that that's where I kind of began. Mm -hmm. So um, I started out in musical theater and then I went into film and television but you know to be able to do use all three in this film was a really um kind of like a like a little kismet circle closing the circle up because um uh i haven't been on stage for a long time and i really enjoyed it speaking of the stage you know i think both of you kind of got the unique opportunity to be in that party scene from like a little bit of a distance and you got to kind of look out on all the craziness um how was it just to be a part of that you know such a production and, and also kind of have your own little space and get to witness it rather than, you know, run around in the space is, is the operative. You know, that's what I'm really appreciating because, uh -huh. you know, Jean, Jean has said that before as she was deeper in the abyss where she was like, I was afraid to turn around or back up. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jean was just like, I, could, I didn't want to because uh, uh, there's just stuff everywhere. So it was kind of cool to be like elevated and being like, all right, well, <laughs> It's a personal problem for those guys. Yeah. <laughs> with it, as the character, I mean. But um, but in the uh, the scene itself, it was cool because the extras were really going for it. Yeah, like everybody was really committed. They're so great to making that party yeah. feel like a party. You know. Yeah. yeah, and I just I was just worried about not falling off the stage because <laughs> I did in the beginning. <laughs> really. <laughs> Because I, we, um, the rehearsal stage was a little bit different, and I was like, okay, don't. And then you know, Damien wants me to walk in a way that doesn't look like I'm taking steps. So it just looks like she's gliding off the stage. It has a and stressful that, move. That also <laughs> happened in um, the laundromat scene where she... That's right. Oh. Yeah, and I had to glide oh, down the steps. And I was like, I mean, like quads are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> were there any real people that you were kind of informed your performances in this film that you researched? Anna Mae Wong for me. Um, and then obviously the tuxedo scene was in, um, inspired by Marlene Dietrich in Morocco. Yeah. And for me, it's Curtis Mosby, uh, Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, all of those guys of, of a large span of, 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 uh, of years of music, but just kind of like all of the pioneers of like jazz musicians of that time. It took something from everybody.